Hello everyone, I'm Nate Bailey and thank you so much for stopping by. I'm not sure what I'm going to call this series, but I am trying to do something every week and send it out on Monday mornings. Last year you may remember that the National Advisory Committee on Occupational Safety and Health started a working group for heat injury and illnesses. They will be having their initial committee meeting on February 25th. Additionally, the National Advisory Committee on Occupational Safety and Health will hold a meeting on February 22nd. Both meetings are open to the public and I will leave links below on how to access the meetings. On January 13, 2022, the Department of Labor announced annual adjustments to OSHA civil penalties. In 2015, Congress passed the Federal Civil Penalties Inflation Adjustment Act Improvements Act <laughs> say that five times, to advance civil monetary penalties effectiveness and maintain their deterrent effect. OSHA maximum penalties for serious and other than serious violations will increase from $13,653 to $14,502 per violation. The maximum penalty for willful or repeated violations will increase from $136,532 to $145,027 per violation. The new civil penalties adjustments took effect on January 15, 2022. As we've all heard over the last six months to a year, there's been a lot of contention about the mandatory mask mandates from the federal government. Recently, the United States Supreme Court ruled that it was unconstitutional. OSHA released a statement on January 13, 2022, concerning the vaccination and testing emergency temporary standard. OSHA iterated that they were working closely with the Department of Justice and reminded everyone that regardless of the outcome of these proceedings, OSHA will do everything in its existing authority to hold businesses accountable for protecting workers, including under the COVID-19 National Emphasis Program and the General Duty Clause. OSHA would continue to use the general duty clause when subparts of an OSHA law do not cover a hazard. So keep in mind, even though the mandatory mandate has a ruling by the U.S. Supreme Court, OSHA will continue to find businesses under the general duty clause. You know, we're at the end of February. If you missed it on February 1st, you should have posted your OSHA 300A form in a conspicuous area. I generally post mine in the break room. Since the pandemic, companies have also started posting their 300A forms on their intranets. The 300A forms are required to be posted between February 1st and April 30th. Companies with more than 250 employees must submit their 300A form information to OSHA by March 2nd, 2022. Establishments with 20 to 249 employees classified as specific industries with historically high rates of occupational injury or illness will also need to submit their 300A form information to OSHA by March 2nd. I'll leave a link below that will take you to where that information is on the OSHA website. Additionally, I'll leave a link below that takes you to OSHA's list of specific industries with historically high rates of occupational injury and illness so you can access the information and see if your industry is on that list. That's all I have for you this week. I want to thank everyone for coming by and checking out my YouTube channel. If there's anything you want me to talk about in the future, please put it down in the comments or DM me. I'm trying to build a community here where we can discuss all the changes in OSHA and safety in general. I'd appreciate you hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. Thanks everyone again and have a safe week.